Alrighty, welcome back, folks. Welcome back to this stream. I am Vector of Change, uh, aka Anthony. Today we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy II, uh, the Pixel Remaster. I think last time we chatted, we were able to get to the Dreadnought. Uh, well, at least to the point where we need to go to the Dreadnought, if I remember correctly. Um, it's been quite a journey so far, learning the new leveling mechanics in Final Fantasy II. They're quite different than some other conventional Final Fantasy games, but it's been fun. It's been a fun journey, just kind of getting to enjoy an old slash new experience. Let me turn down this audio here. There we go. Kind of in the background. So I think without further ado, I'm going to get started getting the game loaded up here for Final Fantasy II. So, I think that's where I left off was to try to figure out what's going on with Hilda. Because she is going to be kidnapped in your future. As you can see, the Dreadnought has already wreaked a destruction. Oh. Hey, are you not picking up? There you go. I'm trying to make sure the captions are working properly. Princess left. Princess Gulda. So I have the Sunfire. That's good. Princess left on Sid's airship to meet you at Cash One Keep. Oh, but she got kidnapped. So the princess is in the Dreadnought, it seems. Yes. Wow, that was some rude, man. <laughs> okay. Is the king still alive? He is. Rescue my daughter. Oh, hey, Emmy. What's up, girl? How was your day? <laughs> so we need to go. I don't know if you can see my. I can see my mouse. We need to go like her. Not bad, all boring. Uh, yeah, yeah, onboarding stuff tends to be kind of boring. My light here is a little dim. There we go. Now I can see me. How's your Tuesday? Oh, I'm glad you defeated the Rona. That's fabulous. My Tuesday's good. My Tuesdays tend to be a long day, so it's nice to finally be home to chill. But otherwise, it was a pretty good day. Felt productive. I feel like some people learned a lot today um yeah yeah no tacos though on tuesday unfortunately but otherwise it's been a good day <laughs> okay. so do i want to walk there or can i take the can i get the chocobo back Tacos are an essential item for Tuesdays. You were correct. I was reading somewhere. Don't know if this version allows it, but apparently there is a spot here on the southern tip of the continent. 
that gives you access to enemies from a different area of the game. Oh yeah, by the way, I did add the community <laughs> Pokemon game, so feel free to use the command Pokestar to get your journey started. Oh, well, let me put it in. So, Pokestart without the space. And you can start. You got your starter. You got an Oshawa. Fabulous. And then anytime one comes up and you want to catch it, just use the Poke Catch um, command. You only get so many balls to start with, I think, to begin. And then you have to um, spend some of the in game currency to get some other stuff. But it's really cute. I've never seen an Oshawa. I don't know if that's a cute Pokemon or not. Only catch them if they're cute. So this appears to be a lie. Unless it's the little peninsula up there that they're referencing. Because I feel like before I go into the Dreadnought, I would like to get some spells leveled. Because I don't feel that's good. Thunder Blizzard Cure. Oshawa is cute. Good job, you caught the sizzle feed. Feeling like Gordon needs spells. He has no MP. Because so we'll have him for a little while. So maybe we should get him a couple spells. Shouldn't hurt. Oh, it's a cute little sea otter. That sounds cute. Okay, so he has blizzard, he has cure. Thunder. She's dealing with Thunder. I should get a couple of those. Oh, who needs that? Um, magic. So Gordon has Blizzard and Cure. So let's teach him Thunder. And then we'll teach Thunder to Furion and the guy. I don't think anyone needs Blizzard. Blink creates a double image. Everybody, anybody have that? You have Blink. So let's use that for Maria. Okay. Blind. I don't think I want to learn the spell blind. Seems like a waste of time. I also think I was reading in a guide that there's probably some armor that I can get that's made out of mithril that I skipped earlier in the game. Mithril maze. I own two. That's the same equipment. Aha! There it is. Mithril, Mithril, Mithril. Everybody needs Mithril. So evasion goes down. So we don't want to give it to him. Your evasion goes up, defense goes down. Worth it. How about you? Um, your evasion's already poopy. So I guess we'll give you... This evasion goes down to zero. We're gonna give you the golden armor. 
At least get your defense up. And that'll be good for you. Okay. Mithrahelm is good for him. Mithrahelm. 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 Guy doesn't need evasion. Oh, because he's such a dummy, he can take it. Oh my god, you missed, um... <laughs> The last time I streamed this game, there was a little sea otter cave that you get into, and in the little sea otter cave, he apparently can talk to the otters, because he speaks to animals. <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> okay, do I want you double sorted? Yes, I do. Alright, sort. Items. Yeah, it is kind of funny to see his intelligence. Although right now he's got a he's got a strong eleven. <laughs> Maria seems to be the most intelligent. Oh, the Gordon's not bad. He's got a 22, even though he's temporary. But I desperately need to level up my spells. So we're gonna work on that. Let's see if maybe this little peninsula cutout lets me do it. I can probably use it on themselves <laughs> to delete the power. Magic. Blizzard. Right. What was I doing? So I'd like to get the blizzard. Blizzard. Magic. Fire. Ah, does very little damage. See, they're baby spells. They really need to be leveled up. Yes, guy was flaming. You are. You're right. In Fuego. Blizzard yourself. Blizzard thine self. Fire yourself. Blizzard. Die. He's totes of him though. He can take damage. Plunge, come on in. How's your evening going? Don't already follow Plunge. Plunge is a retro variety streamer. Feel free to uh, drop them a follow. You pumped for your uh, birthday stream, Plunge? Yeah. I gotta say, Dark Souls is not my, uh, my cup of tea. But it sounds like if you really are into the game, a randomizer would be fun. I have been watching somebody do Legend of Zelda randomizers. They've been kind of cool to watch. 
I joined a Discord. I don't know if I'll stream it eventually, but it was funny <laughs> to see all the folks interested. Actually, I don't want to do that spell. We're going to end this battle. Let's see if we get some spells up. Gordon's Blizzard went up. Got some HP, Fearing got some intelligence, Maria's MP went up. Look, he's smarter, Emmy. He got 12 intellect. <laughs> and Gordon's MP just doubled. Yeah, I think Bulba is, um, he's got a whole list. Uh, that he's been going through to try to get all of them done, which has been kind of neat to watch. You want to see how people like crowd control might do those? Yeah, yeah. If you want, I can um, link to you that Discord server. It's called the Bunnyhood Club. So they have like three levels or so with information on the different things. So let me copy that link for you. There's the link. If you're interested in following along with that. I think, I can't remember if I was with you when we raided um, Loverish. Loverish is the one who introduced me to the randomizers. Guy, you need to get your fire leveled up, buddy. <laughs> They're so cute, everybody's casting their little spells. Fire spell level at the least to level two. Randomizer in a shelf will be something. Yeah, that that sounds like um, romception <laughs> to have randomizers in a shuffler going. Very confusing, but cool. Blizzard. <laughs> it is. Boya. Um, thunder. Lizard two. Stamina, MP, and magic. Wow, look at all that MP Gordon got. Good for you, Gordon. Oh yeah, those are absolutely uh, bad monsters. <laughs> it was correct. <laughs> oh, we need to run. <laughs> um, Gordon, use your cure power, shall ya? And you're out of MP officially. I'm. You might make a D&D &D character a mage himbo like Guy someday. That would be an awesome character, Emmy. I don't even know what... We need to rest anyway, because Gordon's out of MP.
think I was reading, um, I don't know if it was on Twitter or if I saw it on Discord, but it sounded like Honeybee was wanting to stream some D&D at some point. That sounded cool. That's kind of one of my streaming goals, to eventually get to the point where I can do like a podcast slash stream of a D&D &D campaign. this going to make this curse thing go away? Maybe? No, it did not take care of the cures. Well, that's cool. Yeah, they seem to be having fun with their VTuber friends. By auto, it's gonna automatically target the first critter. I don't wanna test it. Be nice if it kept the same target. No, it doesn't. Yeah, the target's okay. Ooh, you caught a plusel? Plusel? Is that how it's pronounced? Electra Bunny. That sounds cute. Shouldn't be burning down Maria's HP, honestly, to get her a little more buff. Coming after you, girl. The Bun Bun version of Pikachu with positive sides? That sounds super kawaii. There's like no damage to me. <laughs> damage. Maria has 69 hit points. Nice.
You know, compared to Final Fantasy 1, where you had kind of like a spell slot system, it is interesting in 2 to not have that, um, like, I feel like I have a ton of MP for some reason. Oops, sorry. Use a thunder, use... Well, you use a thunder, why not? You use a thunder. <laughs> Everybody's just shocking themselves. You like the magic system in this, even though it wasn't a structure, just currently. Like, yeah, it's interesting. I've never played this game before, so I'm kind of learning how it works. I mean, the similarity is, um, of course, that you have to purchase the spells. Oops. Kind of like in the first game. the bad guy. much magic. Looks like the poison actually wore off from earlier. Oops. seemed about right, but if there's also um, a persistent spell that lasts a lot longer, I think it's called Venom. Okay, now we just gotta get this friend to the red.
Oh, that might kill him. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I only have one penis now. <laughs> I think he has the life magic. So my weapon attacks are pretty strong. Must save the himbo. <laughs> the himbo must heal us. Save us, himbo. Gordon's alive! Alright, let's end this. <laughs> wow! Look at all them spells that just leveled up, y'all! Perianka, intellect, stamina, magic, sp wow! That strategy does actually work to just attack yourself for a while. Maria's MP went up to 91. Cool. Guy's MP went up. <laughs> Gordon's MP went up because he died, probably. <laughs> How much is this going to cost? Oh, 669 gil to rest up and heal my wounds. Nice. Buy some Phoenix Tales in case I make a mistake later. Most out of money already. So I wonder, now that I'm fully healed, if I can actually handle those werewolves. <laughs> They do overcharge for the Phoenix Downs. Well, my hits are pretty strong at this stage. Bombs. Is this going to be a TPK? It might be. I don't know if I'm strong enough to handle this. We'll find out. <laughs> Five. Eight. Oh, not dead. Surprised. So magic is not the way. Hi, guy. Oh, he lived. Wow. The himbo lived, but I got money. <laughs> I guess money's good. Can he do it all by himself?
Yeah, that himbo in this maze making bang. That was some good money. Oops, did not mean to click that button. I'll take it. I need to revive my people and died. Sleeping on the job. Oops. I need to go to the church actually. Wonder how much this is gonna cost. So each phoenix down is what, 500 kill? Wandering soul, return now from the distant land where sorrow and darkness hold sway. Look at these delicious sacrifices. Pray to Hydaelyn. Wow. Gonna keep our HPs low. Shocking. Alrighty, enjoy your sleepy time, Emmy. Thanks for joining. Get some rest. I'm glad that you beat the COVID. Visitor. 
What is up, friend? How's your Tuesday going? Ooh, it worked! Nobody spells leveled up, though. Tuesday has been good for you and me. It's been good. It's been good. It's been a pretty productive day in terms of work stuff. So it's just relaxing. I've got training we're going to be doing all weekend long. So I'm trying to unwind as much as I can now before embarking in that world. It'll be worth it. It's a good trade. Are you the trainer or the trainee? Um, it's a good question because it's kind of both. <laughs> so I uh, I'm doing a training with my mentor, um, explicitly explicitly for the purpose of. Uh, working on doing consultations and training other people, but getting a fresh look at the material and the model so that I'm following the protocol correctly and accurately without too much drift. So both, actually. I will probably have some leadership in helping some other people gain some skills, but otherwise not totally responsible. <laughs> for how people do, which is uh, a good feeling. I don't want any more responsibilities. Yeah, no more responsibilities. I'm good. Oh, he fled! What a jerk. Well, guy's a little more intelligent. He's up to 14.
Boom. Poor Clarion. He's getting beat up. Blizzard, fire, another fire, and a cure. Did you get some spells to level? Therion got Blizzard of Thunder leveled. Therion got some MPs. Maria got some MPs. Child's Arts of Stats. Guy got some MP and Intellect. Sweet. Gordon got some more MPs. Cool. Is that what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, have you played um, Final Fantasy II before? It's completely different from any other Final Fantasy that I've played. <laughs> In terms of the leveling. So instead of experience points like you would encounter in most typical Final Fantasy games, um, your characters have a chance of leveling up stats based on what skills you're using in battle. And so if you have a character that you just use your melee weapons with, you're going to get powered in melee, but then your magic's going to be weak. Um, you earn MP when you end battle and you have a low amount, so you're spending your MP. You get HP when you end a battle with low HP. You up your stamina, I think, in evasion, the more hits you take from monsters. So it's very different. Uh, and you have to level up your magic by casting it repeatedly. So the easiest way to get some advancements is to just extend the random encounter as long as you can and beat yourself up <laughs> until uh, you end the battle. And then you have the sap boost potentials like you just saw. It's weird. It's weird, but cool so far until I get to a point in the game where it's like, your spells aren't leveled high enough, you're going to die, and then I'll be mad. <laughs> Yeah. 
we're gonna attack Maria today. Get her HP down as much as we can. She seems to have the lowest HP of everybody for some reason. Apparently Guy doesn't need any more HP bonuses. He's got tons. Marianne has a decent amount of HP as well. Don't kill her! Don't kill her! Okay, she's not dead. <laughs> um, Alright. Carry on next. Let's do attack. And another blue wizard up here. Doing good on the MP elimination. <laughs> Except for Gordon, he's got a ton now. Guys, thunder level up. Therion got some more MP and intellect, magic. Mary got a little more HP and MP. Brings MP one up. All right, I think that's probably about all the leveling I'm gonna get. With lush spells. Everybody got. He's got a level three cure. That's the only spell I think you can level up outside the battle so far. Four seems to be the highest. Right. Let's rest up and we're gonna go head to the Dreadnought. 
I was reading a guide that said, I believe there's an enemy we want to fight called the Boros Thrakos. It's the only enemy that we have to be able to miss at this point in the game. So I'd like to try to find that and fight it. Hopefully it's not tough like these bombs. So I do know where the Dreadnought is. I walked past it to get here. I was so scared to use the canoe in this game because of the way I was conditioned Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> Those river battles were scary sometimes with the white alligators. They would destroy me. Those in a cave. I think they're an enemy in Final Fantasy VI in the beginning of the game in the mines. Ooh, we got a little HP from that fight. Magician. Soldiers. They melt at this point, which is fabulous. Berserk. Ooh. Teacher's Berserk versus attack when used in battle. Who do we want to give that to? It's a black spell. I'm gonna go with Maria. Right now I think I'm gonna keep Maria as my black mage, Guy as my white mage, and Furion as my attack player. The ogre looks kinda like um in Full Metal Alchemist, the Nina Chimera. It's <laughs> so like the eyeballs. There's the four Araskas that we were supposed to encounter. There they are. So check, first missable enemy is one. Yeah, 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 I guess I could say a sloth. This is the first dungeon that you have the potential to miss some stuffs. So I think I need a map of this particular area here. But I have not. Is there a map? Somebody's got to have it. Right. I don't want to miss any treasures. Oh, I see a bad guy over there. Is he coming this way? FF2. So this is the... I guess it's called a warship map. Sure. We'll go with that. Hey! Give me a map! I don't want an ad. I want a map! That's not the map. Wrong map. I have a feeling like we talk to these guys. They're not nice. Alright. One, so it's one, two, three, four. Those are all boss rooms. So we do want to go down. Nine, ten. 
Okay, I don't want to go there yet. So we're going to go to the top right room. That's the room we want, because those first three rooms are worthless. And there is a chest there. We do want that. Oh. Well, what do you want? Wild Rose. Purple Curse. Dang. He's not my friend. He's the captain. He's tough. Fire. Wizard. Wizard. How do you like magic? It's okay. He's toughy. Oh, he is a mini boss. Wow, look at all them things that leveled up. And I got money. Bad guys. My question, why are there a bunch of undead monsters on the Imperial warship? It seems a little counterintuitive to be starting a zombie apocalypse so early. Unless it's a spoiler about things to come. Just curious. Money! Renewable cannon. Ah, absolutely! That sure sounds right. Stunner. They ain't stunners for me. They're kind of ugly. Wow, she just did almost 400 damage with her mace. Maria is coming in fierce. did miss a treasure early. I gotta go back after this. Okay. Kitty! A wear panther, huh? A mage's staff? You cast thunder when used in battle. Is that something you can use? It is! Look at her attack! It goes from 30 to 50! Get it, girl! Get it! That's a pretty cool find.
I did like that in um, Final Fantasy 1. Towards the end of the game, you got a bunch of items that would let you cast spells for free, because spell slots were not easy to manage in that game. Kind of a pain in the butt. Potion, potion. There's my girl. Hey, Hills, how's it going? The game has spell slots, you end up never using them. Oh no. Luckily, you don't have spell slots in this game. Guys look like bad news. Just finished your Abyssos runs for like awesome. I still need to get back into 14. I just haven't been feeling the energy of 14 lately. I did the Island Sanctuary. That felt good. I was trying to choose tonight, I'm like, do I want to continue my stream of Final Fantasy 2, or do I want to do some roulettes in 14? Pick this. <laughs> we really need to get a poison carrying spell. Not found one yet. Thieves Club. Do they do anything special? Enhances agility. Who has really crappy evasion? Guy does. Guy needs those gloves. Terrible about Bruce, brute force and things in games instead of doing basic optimization. Oh yeah. It is a nice option to optimize in this game, but again, because each piece of equipment has its own leveling system, as you can see here, you might optimize and they might decide, oh, you probably need the axe or the spear, when in fact the most power comes from what's actually equipped by your characters. So I just decided to opt for what I've got. You open the Iron Gate. Virion, I meant to meet you at Kashwan Keep, but things didn't go as planned. I'm sorry. Thank you for coming to rescue me. Apparently there was a bunch of undeads hanging out in the cage with Princess Hilda. It's a little sus, but alright. Let's save your thanks for later. I'll head for the airship of the princess. You find that engine and toss the sunfire in. Got it? I'm gonna get the airship ready for takeoff and I don't plan on waiting around long. He's just as rude as the Sid in Final Fantasy VII, huh? Maybe this is where he got his cranky attitude from. Uh, 
Uh, Inquisitor asked, is this the same as FF1 where it's just the same four party members through the whole game? No, you have the first three characters, uh, Furion, Maria, and Guy, who are the same static characters. And then there's a rotation throughout the game of the fourth slot. So in the beginning, we had a really awesome white mage who had like every white mage spell maxed out pretty much. That was kind of like training wheels for any play. <laughs> and now we have Gordon, who's okay. Um, the previous party member we had, he passed away. It was King Sian. So I think the the change from one to two is more investment in the characterization and kind of giving personality flair to the characters rather than just having them be substitutes, which is sad because I've played a little bit of Final Fantasy 3 and they kind of went back to that formula where it's, yeah, not so exciting, not so exciting. Um, on the note, I'm going to be right back just a moment and I will be back in a jiffy. Uh, so stick around and be right back. All right, I'm back. Told you it wouldn't be long. <laughs> Miss me already? Oh no. Am I developing a codependent bond for you? <laughs> we want to get that chest up there. That looks like it's probably something delicious and helpful. At least I'm getting some money from this dungeon. It's something I've been having trouble with. Ooh, that hurt. Alright, Gordon, Mr. Infinite MP over here. Get your healing butt over here. Guy's okay, got so much HP, it's astronomical. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I need to retrace my steps because I need to go down that staircase in the middle to get whatever's in that little jail. I think it's a sleep sword. got an achievement. That's the reason there's a bunch of bosses standing there, I bet. Ooh. That was rude. You can't blind. Who's already blind, guys? 
go blind. Alright, so we need eye drops. curious if it's OP or if it's just a little baby thunder. If there's any mobs left at this point. Thunder 5. That is okay. They're not very susceptible to that damage. I could probably cure them and it would kill them. Curse. All right, another Capitan, and he's ambushing me. It hurts. Anything to lower his effects, did I? Alright, now he's taking a little damage. Defeated. Length and care level. That's good. More HP and MP for Maria. Gordon got a little more MP and magic and agility and some gill. Thanks. Oops. That was the wrong spell. Meant to just attack. Oh well. Guess an extra cure won't kill me. The iron gateway blocks the doorway. The cell is empty. No, it's not. I literally see a treasure chest. Trina's first dungeon revisited. Memories found later. Check your map. All right, well, that is the sleep sword. Apparently, I'm not going to be getting it. All right, not a big deal. Waste of time, but hold on. I wonder if, um, when we go to blow up, if it's...
gonna put us on a timer to escape or something. So many undead. Yeah, the story is kind of interesting for two. It reminds me a little bit of 14, because you're kind of fighting against a nonsensical technological empire. They're terrorists. bit like the uh, Garleans. Why are there guys just floating out there? That's weird. Oh, must be below the pipes? Weird, they look like they're in jail. Kitties! Sorry, kitties. Get a beat up the poor kitty cats. Ooh, more treasure. Oh, the ugly mice. Hill Gigas. He's a big boy. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> Monsters? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Waste 
defense. And a little more care action. Rude. You scared of my mage or what, bro? It's for reason. Let's get the cereal. gonna do it? Okay. Hopefully you drop something good. Another giant's helm and a thunder tome. As well as ice shield. What's the giant's helm do? Raises attack, accuracy, and defense. Net game for Maria. We're going to give it to Maria. Oh, the ice shield. Shield resistant to fire. Hey, Dark Meow, how's your Tuesday going? Just playing a little Final Fantasy 2. Thunder tone. Does everybody have thunder? You got thunder. You got thunder. Everybody's got thunder. You survived! Surviving is definitely a good goal for a Tuesday. <laughs> I feel that though some days. For sure. Main gosh. A knife. Okay. Oh, I got two thunder giant's helms. Yeah, that's a net benefit for Gordon. And a trident. That's a spear. Ups your attack and accuracy. Okay. And you're already using that weapon. Okay. 
Okay. Items. Sort. The item. I think we got Blizzard too. Yeah. Got the treasure. Where's that gonna bring us in? Ten. Ten brings us up to where is ten on this map? Maybe this map's misplaced. Oh, brings us to the center, and then up to 12. 12 brings you there, the center. Okie dokie. I know it's empty, because I got the treasure. I like her maze, it works pretty good on her. Defeated. A potion. Preemptive strike. Close her again. She's so tough, I love Maria. She might be my new favorite Final Fantasy character. She's definitely tough. Okay, we need to go to this engine room. Ooh. How do we get there? I don't want to have to fight my way through. Kitties! Hey, Kaya, how are you? Welcome to my stream of Final Fantasy II Pixel Remaster. There's bad guys everywhere I look. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't decide if I wanted to run roulettes or to uh, stream this game, and I chose to stream this game. <laughs> Mini boss. Oh, he doesn't move. Well, that was a waste. Okay. I should have known that. Better be Gordon. You had to decide between roulettes and watching me stream to set your detect for roulettes. <laughs> oh, trust me. I, I get it. <laughs> I'm good, Gaia. I'm, I'm good. My week's been good so far. Oh, Jigglypuff escaped. Nobody caught it. 
Uh, if you are interested in catching some Pokemons, the command to start is exclamation Pokestart. And then whenever they come up, you do uh, exclamation Pokecatch. And then you can start to kind of manage your little collection of Pokemons. It's a cute little mini game. have to make a description. I didn't realize I added it to my stream. I was playing with it. <laughs> it's someone else's stream. I was like, that's cute. Ooh, Helldiver. That's a new enemy. And Marquinis. Poor kitties. I don't mean to murder you, but I have to. That's not it. Ooh, it's the ugly mice. You're so angry. something other than that I can give you. No. I'm gonna give you this knife. I know you're not well trained in it, but it's gotta be better than what you're doing. a lifesteal ability. Lucky him. Sorry, kitty. Fire Totem. Who doesn't have fire? Gordon doesn't have fire. You have fire. You have fire. So we're gonna teach that. No, actually no, because we're gonna lose Gordon here in a little bit, I think. Let's see what this thing says. Alright, do the Dreadnought Dungeon. Use the pass on the first card to get past. Be sure to get all the chests. Use the sunfire on the engine. You'll be dropped. Remove his equipment. He'll be leaving soon. Talk to the king. Okay. So I'm good until we complete the dungeon to worry about his equipment. That's good to know. More kitties. Sorry, kitties. I'm getting lots of money though. Look at that. 39,000. I had like a thousand gold, I think, <laughs> when I started this dungeon. Ambushed. Fire 5. Eh, those aren't too bad.
445. Maria is a beast. I love her. So, we're going to use the Sunfire on the engine. You throw the Sunfire into the engine. What have you done? The engine! That voice. There's no time, Maria. The ship will blow up any minute. We have to get to Sid's airship. I think that's a win. All right, that feels good. So we're going to Remove all of Gordon's lovely equipment, because he's going to go bye bye right. We're going to save. kind of like this uh, layout. So these are the companions I've had so far. You had Minwoo, and then Joe, and now Gordon. Gordon was actually pretty good, I thought. A lot of the guides said the people usually take him out, but I liked him. I thought he was cool. I am kicking him out of the- well, I'm not kicking him out, he's volunteering to leave, and since he's gonna go, I'm gonna take back my investment in his defense. <laughs> the princess is safe and well, I wish the same was for the king. His condition's taking a turn for the worst. They all say the same thing. Blew up the dreadnought, did you? I always knew you had it in you. You are a liar, sir. You are a liar. You had no trust in me earlier. You were a jerk. Should I go see the king? Let's go talk to Hilda first. No one really wants to talk about him. Well, she must be with her husband. All right, we'll go see Hilda. Gordon, Minwoo, and Firion. I have one last request to ask each of you. Please listen carefully. Gordon, you've grown so strong. I want you to lead our army. Do all you can to help Hilda. My leash, I swear it on my very life. Minwoo, you know the legend. The legend speaks of the ultimate magic, the sealed away. The seal may only be broken when the world stands at the brink of destruction. I believe that time has come. Do you agree? I do. 
The time to break the seal binding the ultimate tome is upon us. Therion, I would have you go to Daste, home of Dragoons. I was told that all the Dragoons were slain in an attack by the Empire. Yet, I refuse to believe there are no survivors in so noble a group. If we are to stand against the might of the Empire, I am convinced we will need the Dragoons and their wyverns. If you combine your efforts, the day of our victory will come. This I ask of each of you. Take care of Hilda. Your Majesty! He should save our tears for another time. <laughs> oh, it's a little insensitive. He just died, bro. All right. We must carry out the king's last wishes. We each have our duties. Let them not go unfulfilled. <laughs> Bro's just happy he became commander of the armies. What a rude jerk. <laughs> that was, yeah, that's interesting. All right. Well, I think therapy would be a great option for Gordon. Hee <laughs> hee. Bro, her dad just died. Her dad just died and she just says hee <laughs> hee? What is happening with these characters in this game? I'm confused. Maybe it's not Hilda. Maybe it's, uh like imposter spy or something they are definitely family issues look at him the man's been dead for five minutes and he's already sitting on the throne you are no different than king charles here buddy just waiting for that poor old man to die so you could steal his throne <laughs> what a jerk <laughs> When the Emperor first moved against Deist, we dismissed the attack as a mere skirmish. But the Emperor feared the power of the Dragoons. He meant to wipe them out. Let's learn the term Dragoons. I'm going to ask you about Dragoons. Some say the Dragoons can speak the language of Wyverns. Whoa, what are Wyverns? If you go to Deist, you may find the Wyverns that yet live. A wyvern would make for a most advantageous ally. You should visit the port of Paloom and seek out the ship to take you to Dice. Do you know anything about any of this other stuff? Just in case, you jerk. And then you make him do the paperwork and he starts complaining. Yeah, I'm sure. I could see that. What's a Jumpluff? That sounds like a fun Pokemon. Island Canaan, east of the snow plains. We'll have to take a boat. We've lost our king. Oh no, you didn't lose a king. You gained a king right here. Here he is. <laughs> I'm still a little suspicious of this girl teeing over here. Something ain't right about that. I want to ride a wyvern through the air! His Majesty's passed away, isn't he? He has. So tragic. <laughs> Net gain. <laughs> Plus zero kings. Absolutely hell. <laughs> I feel so empty only having three party members. Rest up and heal.
Alright, so missable enemies, be sure to meet killer fish, sea snake, buccaneer, and hull diver enemies on the waters. They are technically missable entries. Okay. So we need to go back to Paloon. Ooh, I caught the jump up. Awesome. Should save over that save with evil King Charles there. What a jerk. Is this a new character? She looks fun. Ye be looking for passage to the star ye? Well, this be your lucky day. Just so happened me ship was about to leave for dice. Be ye wanting a ride? Sure, girl. Doesn't this seem a little too convenient, Furion? <laughs> Maybe, but there isn't any other ships going to Deist. We're just gonna have to trust her. My name's Layla. I'll be waiting outside the city for you. We'll away anchor as soon as you're set to go. Not sus at all. Just trusting strangers. Alright. This game is not teaching me good values. <laughs> Maybe that's why it was never translated. They just knew it was a sinner's game. <laughs> special there. It's interesting that they have two vendors for the same set of items. Must have been a challenge when they coded this game originally to be able to get a large enough inventory in an NPC. Uh, Hale says, it's like Chrono Cross logic. Once you've got a more slightly detailed sprite, new potential party member. Yes, that is Chrono Cross logic. <laughs> Except for, I think, in the beginning of the game, where you uh, get Mojo, the um, voodoo doll, you don't notice him at first. <laughs> uh, Inquisitor, just trusting strangers is getting new party members in a nutshell in JRPGs. Yeah. Yeah. Karaoke Girl, yeah, trust that Layla. Get on my knees, Layla. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to overstock on items, but I do want to get some more... I don't need these, but I might. I want some more eye drops. I'm going needing quite a few of those. Yeah, Trusting Strangers is exactly how the uh, Warrior of Light joins the Scions in 14. <laughs> that is accurate. You notice how her ship is not even in the port? <laughs> it's literally way out here. Nowhere near the port. This is, this is dangerous. I know it. We got Usurper Kings, Queens who have lost their minds, and now this. So far so good. Ooh, a cutscene. Justin Pirates doesn't say much for the space you got between your ears. 
<laughs> we'll spare you your lives, but your loot be ours now. You know, they could have totally used a booty line right there, but they translated it out, I'm sure. What a waste of potential. What's this? Is it a fight you be wanting? You really are stupid. Get him, boys. Look at them. They're so cute. I like their little snaggle tooths. It's adorable. They can't hit worth crap, but they're cute. Alright, knock up hard and pop down. Where's the little uh, cage? With that one little animal experiment thing. What was that character's name? Now it's gonna bother me. My battle this is thing I need to work. Not Potion, that's the dog. Neophio. Neophio. I think Neophio is in the. Oh, Pip! Yes, it's Pip. You have to rescue Pip from the ship or else Pip dies. Ooh. Enough. I know what I'm beat. Go on then. Do what you're going to do and do be done with it. Oh, she's so sad. And now we're sad. Depression is contagious in this world. What are you up to? <laughs> you want to fight the Empire together? A bunch of outcasts like us fighting right alongside the likes of you? I think I like the sound of that. To your post, boys. Whether it be Deist or the edge of the world, we'll get you there. Leila, join the party. Oh, I have control of the boat? That's new. That's a new option. So, I think we want to go to the island to the north. Do, do, do. Put a knife in her hand. Okay. Uh oh. Did you use a naughty? Aren't all three of your static team members like kids? Yeah, they are orphans, in fact. We are orphans uh, doing the work of the adults. This is correct. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's take that back out of your hands. We'll give you... We'll give you the staff. Oh, your evasion goes way down low. Should I just give you a shield? Be done with it. Oh no, but your attack goes down so much. Oh, I'm conflicted. Do I want evasion? He's got so much HP, it's ridiculous. No, he doesn't need evasion. But she needs that. And a long sword. I have the mithra sword, it's a little bit better. Get you some gloves. Some armor. Ooh. Is that not better? It actually makes it go down. Alright, alright. And that would make defense go down. We have a gold hair. Ooh, a gold hairpin. I'm gonna wanna steal that. <laughs> it's resistant to lightning and it has better stats than all the helmets I have. It'll be good. 
Oh no, beware Prince Andrew of the monarchy. <laughs> yeah, those children beat the tar- they did. They certainly did. Lucky hits. All about the lucky hits. There's no battles in the ocean. That's a good change compared to- oh, never mind. Just kidding. There are battles in the ocean. Oh, she has no... no spells, does she? She has thunder. Alright, we can give you fire. I have lots of those to spare. I think I have a blizzard to spare. Are you telling me you'd trust Guy with decision making just because he can knock you out? No, no, I would not trust Guy. He's my himbo white mage, I've decided in this playthrough. <laughs> Your only other option is to get knocked out, then yes. All right. Um, how do we get over there? Do we just go this way? Sea snake. Girl, you don't hit worth crap. You gotta beat her up a little bit. gonna burn you a little bit in you know. Us naughty children are out to get you. Ooh, that was a good hit. Don't kill her. She's not dead. <laughs> I guess um fire yourself. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Layla. Stand still. Why? Don't ask questions. Just go with it. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. That is, uh, that is what's happening here. <laughs> Ooh, going for the nine tails, huh? You gotta do a uh, pokey start to get started, and then you can do pokey catch. Ooh, you got a Tota Doyle for your starter. That's cool.
got the nine tails. That's a cool Pokemon. I like nine tails. Okay, done. Maria's Thunder leveled up. Therion got some good stat boosts. Maria didn't get a lot. Layla didn't get anything. I don't like Layla already. Can I quit her? <laughs> I don't like her. She can't sit with us. Ooh, these guys are spooky guys. Uh... They're not easy to hit. And they hit hard. Very hard. Alright. Uh, let's do fire. She might be able to hit because she's got that awesome staff. It's okay, Clapton wrote a song about her controlling her suspicions. <laughs> nice. <laughs> My guys are a little overtrained. I mean, maybe, but this is just a random encounter and it's taking forever to kill it. My magic doesn't do a whole lot. I don't really know how to level it any faster. It's unfortunate. She's dead. <laughs> and defend. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is true. I think what I was reading, so this makes sense. Gordon and I were kind of on the same level, but the game described in the guide that some people just choose to kill off the fourth character and ignore them because of that problem. I think you guys finally. Okay, she got a little bit of HP and MP. Giant's gloves. What do those do? Enhances strength. So he's already pretty strong. Kai is incredibly strong. Hmm. I don't think I want to waste it for Layla. We're going to give it to your head. OK, 
Castle Deuce. Isn't there supposed to be a town? Go to the island. There's Castle Deuce. Get all the chests. Talk to the kid. Mom, ask for the dragons. Go to the nearby cave. Okay. I thought it was a town we were supposed to be coming to. Yeah, evidently not. It's a castle. Every time you see a new character, new to me anyway, go to the wiki those early FFI works. Yeah, they are interesting. And I think Yoshitaka Amano did the character designs for all of the early games. Go away! Don't come any closer! I'm gonna tell my mom! And I'm gonna steal your loot. What are you gonna do about it? I was expecting random encounters. But I'm not having any. I'm stealing your treasures. A sun tome, a curse tome, and a stop tome. All black magic. We'll give stop to Guy. Stun to Maria. First to Furion. We'll spread the uh, spells there. Part of what I was reading in the game is your growth stops. Ooh, a unicorn horn. Cure status of amongst the wrath of battle. Same as Bazooka. Cool. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh well. Boop. Sage's wisdom, golden needle, anecdotes. Look at this treasure I'm stealing from this poor family. <laughs> Wing sword against flying enemies. Maximizes spirit, maximizes intellect. Ooh. Is this sword any better for you, Ferion? It is. Your accuracy goes down to 28%. Nah, we'll keep that. Save the unicorn for, <laughs> for Freya. I know. Did you see the silly pictures she posted today? They were so fun. <laughs> There's a streamer I've watched, um, and that's one of her, her stream gimmicks, is uh, you spend channel points and she gets silly hats on. <laughs> and so the more uh, followers and subs she gets, the more silly hats she goes out and buys. <laughs> kind of fun. Alright, did we get that? Dial probably is going to lose it. You are correct there, Kaya. <laughs> Ooh, dragon. What's the big idea? You're not the bad guys. I thought the Empire had sent their soldiers after us again. When I grow up, I want to be a dragoon just like my dad was. The wyvern's right in there. It's sound asleep right now. My mom says it's going to die soon, but that's not true, is it? You didn't know any of this other stuff. Okay. I hope my son hasn't caused you any trouble. If he has, I do apologize. My husband was Dragoon. Imperial soldiers killed him along with the rest. My son and I are the only two left. In the room behind us is the last surviving wyvern. It seems to be trying to tell us something, but I cannot speak its tongue. If only we had one of the pendants, we would be able to understand it. The cavern of the Wyverns lies north of this castle. That cavern may hold one of the pendants that allows one to speak with the Wyverns' language. Hmm. 
Okay. Goons fought valiantly, but the Empire knows no honor. They poisoned the Wyvern's water. The Wyverns writhed in agony until at last, their last breath. It's kind of like um, Kefka in Final Fantasy VI. With their Wyverns dead, the Dragoons were picked off one by one by the Empire. The Dragoons fought valiantly, but the Empire knows no honor. They poison the water. Oh, okay, I asked that already. That's the same answer? To the same two? Okay. You know anything about this stuff? You know about an airship? How about Mithril? Wild Rose? No? Okay. Shira. Apparently he knows enough to say question mark to those answers. <laughs> okay. So we need to go to the Wyvern Cavern. I'm assuming it's up here. Ooh, more undeads. This game has a, a love of undeads for some reason. That new sword is doing Layla some good. I'm thinking I need to use one of those cottages I got. Just for safety. Alright, the Deist Cavern. <laughs> Deist Cavern Map. Okay. That's not the map I want. I want the other map. This map. I just want to avoid any dead end rooms. So there doesn't really seem to be any. Not in the first floor. Oh, I hate these guys! Oh, Darkmail, you gotta do Poke Catch first if you want to get started with the Pokemon game. Ooh, your starter's a Litten. That, uh, that tracks for you. That's the starter I chose when I played Sun and Moon. You 
<laughs> you got the dark map Pokemon. Certainly dead. He's trying to flee. No, give me your money. More giant's gloves. Spade. So I really don't want to spend more time in this cave than I have to. It seems annoying already. So... The empty or the item I need is actually right in this cave. Or on this entrance. You come across the remains of a dragoon. Something nearby the ground catches your eye. You found a pendant. That was easy. Alright, maybe these attacks are starting to catch up. I want to explore more. There's a major staff, a mithril helm, mithril gauntlets, mithril mirror, mithril shield, basketball, a flame bow, and knight armor. A lot of that stuff I kind of already have. My guess. After I played Final Fantasy 1, <clears throat> and I went into the one uh, tower, or one dungeon, and then it made me come out of the dungeon, go all the way back in the dungeon twice, that was so annoying. So I'm going to save exploring until I know for sure that we're not coming back. <laughs> that was easy, said the man as he walked away from the corpse desecration. <laughs> Well, he is dead. Yeah, looking at this guy, go to the cavern, get the pendant, work in the dungeon, go back to talk to the guy, get an egg, and then come back. It is correct. So they learned uh, in the development of Final Fantasy 2 that that's annoying. To explore a whole dungeon and have to come back. Stalactites. Reminds you of the Chrono Trigger side quest? Yeah, a little bit. Still an amazing game, though. <laughs> Did you go from down the mountain six times? Sounds right. Heard the lowermost chambers of the cavern with the life spring, the place the Wyverns used as a hatchery. Wyverns right in there, it's sound asleep. Mom says it's gonna die. We seek your aid in destroying the Empire, our common foe. Will you help us? The Empire's poison already coursed through my veins. It will not escape my fate that befell my brood. Um, guess I don't need to use the pendant. Ask. Aldros. Mithril. Airship. Dreadnought. Sunfire. 
Got a spell? We're good. Shortly before the battle with the Empire, a Darun named Ricard set out to find the ultimate magic. Where he has gone, I do not know. Ask Lugerns. That looks like Yoshi's egg from Mario! I have one last request of you. Take this egg to the cavern north of here and submerge it in the life spring. It is the last remaining wyvern egg. If it is not submerged in the life spring soon, it will wither and die. Oh, it's sad. We gotta save this drago. Alright y'all, I think that is a good place to end our journey, and we will pick up again in the future to continue the Final Fool, obviously to Pixel Remaster uh, journey. So I think I need to find a person to raid. Anyone has suggestions and anyone interesting you'd like to uh, go visit or any games that you'd like to continue to watch while you're uh, staying up more than welcome to suggest them uh, if you want to keep up with me and any of my weird internet activities <laughs> uh, feel free to check out the link tree that has the link to my twitter youtube uh, and all my silly tiktoks that i make uh, typically i will post a vod of the stream the next day up on YouTube if you want to for some reason watch this again you're welcome to do that um yeah you suggest a factor of change all right that's not gonna work dark yeah <laughs> do I know anybody who's online right now Monica's online Monica's got a lot of folks you know Kaya since you mentioned um the hats the streamer loverish is actually online right now she is streaming cult of the lamb do you want to go pop a visit over to loverish this evening <laughs> the other option i have is someone who's doing some chill pixel art custom designs making some sweaters for animal crossing they are a, a non-binary, awesome, cool individual. Oh yeah, you want the hats? All right, we can do hats. Do, do, do. Let's see, their name is T. Hats first, all right. We're going to go see Leverish then. I can't raid myself, Dark Meow. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it, it would be cool if it did. But it just doesn't work that sure. way. Sure. How do I mute this How thing? Yeah, but... There we go. Find a way. <laughs> you believe well dark now you have more faith in me than me so pogs to you <laughs> all right so i'm gonna initiate the raid and we will go pester loverish about all of their fun hats and see i think they're wearing bunny ears at the moment your paisa ran away well, you better start feeding it. <laughs> Alright, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you soon.
this force of action for how much to spend in the base. Karaoke girl. Thank you for the follow. 